Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant development, Russian President Vladimir Putin has declared the potential deployment of conventional missiles within range of the United States and its European allies. This threat follows the possibility of Ukraine utilizing long-range Western weapons to strike deeper into Russian territory. Putin's stern warning was delivered during his first face-to-face -face meeting with senior editors from major international news agencies since the Ukrainian conflict began. He emphasized that Western assumptions about Russia's restraint from using its nuclear arsenal are misguided. Putin's statements came in response to NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg's encouragement for Ukraine to use Western weapons to target Russian soil. He warned that allowing Kiev to attack Russia with increasingly powerful weapons would significantly escalate tensions, potentially leading to a broader conflict with the West. The Russian president specifically cited the American Atoms and British and French missile systems, stating that Russia would counter by intercepting any such Western missiles. This follows recent approvals by the United States, France, and Germany for Ukraine to conduct targeted strikes within Russia. Reiterating Russia's nuclear doctrine, Putin stressed that the use of nuclear weapons is permissible if national sovereignty and territorial integrity are threatened. He cautioned the West against underestimating this stance, highlighting that all available means could be employed if necessary. This reiteration of nuclear threats is not new from the Russian leader but underscores the gravity with which he views the current geopolitical tensions. Addressing a variety of issues during a three-hour speech at the Gazprom Tower before the Street Petersburg International Economic Forum, Putin also touched upon the conflict in Gaza and the upcoming U.S. elections. He criticized the United States for prioritizing its interests over those of Ukraine and condemned the American judicial system's handling of Republican nominee Donald Trump. Putin framed the Ukrainian conflict as an existential struggle against a declining and decadent West, which he accuses of humiliating Russia post-1989 by encroaching on what he considers Moscow's sphere of influence, including Ukraine. Russia's sophisticated missile arsenal is pivotal in its military strategy, particularly evident in the current Ukrainian conflict. Among these weapons, the hypersonic Zircon missile stands out. Capable of traveling 1,000 kilometers at nine times the speed of sound, the Zircon was initially designed for sea launch but now also has a ground-based version, making it a formidable threat due to its ability to evade most air defense systems. The Kinshull, or Dagger, is another significant component of Russia's arsenal. This air-launched ballistic missile can reach speeds over 11,000 km per hour and carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, enhancing its strategic importance. Additionally, the Iskander-K, a short-range ballistic missile system, has been deployed against Ukrainian urban and military targets. Known for its accuracy and ability to be launched from mobile platforms, the Iskander-K is challenging to detect and neutralize before it reaches its target. Putin's latest declarations underscore the heightened risks of escalation in the Ukrainian conflict. His warnings about missile deployments and nuclear doctrine highlight the fragile and volatile nature of current international relations. As the situation evolves, the potential for broader conflict looms, demanding careful diplomatic navigation to avoid catastrophic outcomes. That's all for now. See you later.